घराना घरानाज ऑफ ख्याल आर सोशो कल्चरल ग्रुप्स ऑफ ख्याल म्यूजिशंस विद ईच ग्रुप बींग हेल्प टूगेदर बाय कॉमन स्टाइलिस्टिक एंड अप्रोच टू ख्याल इट्स परफॉर्मेंस एंड इस्थेटिक्स एंड दिस इंक्लूड्स दिस कुल इंक्लूड मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स सच एज द वे द वॉइस इज प्रोजेक्टेड द रिपर्ट वर ऑफ कॉम्पोजिशन दैट दे चूज दैट दे पिक कॉम्पोजिशन फ्राम द मैनर ऑफ विस्तार the kinds of ornament preferred the layer preferred and so on uh, dr ashok ranade uh, has said this in an essay that gharana mande shishta ek nishchita pana that is in uh, it is a discipline uh, it's a specific manner of approaching the art of presenting ragas uh, which gives a well defined place to all elements in the uh, world of khayal and this is gharana it is kharana he says is a samyak drishtikon that is it's an all encompassing perspective a view and an approach so while within each kharana one can discern a consistency in how ragas are presented there is considerable divergence across kharana so kharana makes for both variety and sameness and like uh, everything else here too there are overlaps gray areas which challenge these kharana boundaries the world of khayal has been defined by gharanas in critical ways gharanas have commanded fierce loyalty from performers and listeners gharana wars have been fought uh, each gharana contesting its superiority over all others and uh, through much of the 20th century the khayal world was intensely obsessed with gharanas gharana purity gharana loyalty and betrayal um today that intensity has certainly waned but it is not yet time to announce the irrelevance of gharana the word gharana derives from the word ghar which means house historically khayal was practiced by court musicians there is music musical families attached to various courts in north india and uh, these musicians transmitted the art the repertoire and the aesthetics strictly within the family father to son father to nephew and it was a closely guarded secret it was guarded like a very precious possession and it is understandable because the livelihood of these musicians was precisely this the fact that they could they had this repertoire and that they could sing they could sing ragas in this way and so uh, it's understandable that they did not want to share it with outsiders but around the end of the uh, 19th century outsiders also started gaining access to this music it is uh, well documented for instance that uh, the gwalior royal court uh, the sindhias uh, were who were the patrons of the gwalior gharana masters haddu and hasukhan uh, they asked them to teach this music to students outside their family so gwalior gharana is uh, regarded the mother of all gharanas most other gharanas directly or indirectly stem from gwalior gharana and uh, here might also be mentioned that there is an older kawal bachche gharana kawali as i have mentioned earlier is regarded as having influenced the uh, evolution of khayal and kawal bachche as the name suggests were progeny of performers of kawali these people also performed kawali khayal and uh, one uh, bade mohammad khan of this uh, family for kawal bachche gharana he had a deep impact on the uh, crystallization of the gwalior style itself lore musical lore has it that the founders of gwalior gharana haddu and hasu khan they uh, listened to bade muhammad khan's music secretly because he wouldn't teach them directly but he they listened to his music secretly and incorporated elements from his style to you know then fashion the gwalior gaiki or singing style which then became uh, 
which then was promulgated uh, elsewhere. And so, if Gwalior is the mother of all gharanas, one can say Kawal Bache is the father. In fact, there are uh, musicologists who have suggested this. But uh, Kawal Bache, uh, there, there are no musicians who owe f affiliation to this gharana for more than a century and a half. So, now even though the families of musicians attached to various courts undoubtedly had their own unique approach to khayal, their own repertoire and so on, kharana started being recognized as such, that is as musical styles with distinct identifiable features, you know they started being recognized as such in the beginning and the middle of the uh, 20th century. Prominent among these uh, gharanas are Gwalior, Agra, uh, Kirana, Atravari Jaipur, Patiala, Indore, Bhendi Bazar, Nevati, Rampur Sahaswan and, and of many others. And these as you can see the, the gharanas are named after uh, places right Gwalior, Agra etc. And this is this is the place where the founder of the gharana hailed from. Now, if a brilliant musician comes up with a distinct style, as has happened in the 20th century, um, that style is not thereby regarded as a gharana. The rule of thumb has been that if a certain master, this particular, this brilliant musician who has come up with his own distinct style, if this master has two generations of students after him who owe allegiance to the style, then that style is regarded as a gharana. So three generations of practitioners of the same style results in a gharana. This is generally accepted even though it is arbitrary. While um, you know stylistic differences are not easy for the novice to discern, it is not at all easy. Even once you have advanced or you started learning Khayal also, it's not particularly easy to see these stylistic differences. But they are a matter of great importance to the aficionado and obviously the performers themselves. So some of the important aspects where we find stylistic differences are Sur, it is how are the Swaras intoned, is it an aggressive is it with an aggressive voice with broad strokes or is it pinpointed and delicate or is it something in between natural? Uh, how vested is the style in the bandish? Now, this is a very important uh, criterion. Uh, is the style, um, does it give any prominence to the bandish, its structure, its text, etc. While uh, elaborating on the raga. Is the bandish a critical element or one that is used for most part as an anchor for raga vistar? Then you have laikari also, what is the role of rhythmic play? These are only a few broad aspects. Um, now, Srijan Deshpande will take us through a few gharanas and uh, discuss there of important stylistic features.